Hello friends, I'm Paul Hahn, coordinator of Mission in North America. Happy Thanksgiving week to you and yours. My wife Fran is beginning to set our Thanksgiving table as we at least are having some of our children and grandchildren and my mom in for the holidays. Some of our kids cannot be with us this year. Uh, maybe you're looking forward to Thanksgiving and time to rest, time to reflect, time to be with family or friends in your bubble that you feel safe with. Maybe this year Thanksgiving doesn't uh, have a lot of appeal because you can't go be with family or maybe you don't have a lot of family to connect with in general. Uh, maybe you have questions about the origins of Thanksgiving itself that you're beginning to gnaw on and to process. Wherever you are on that continuum, if you are among Christ's people, I wanna encourage you today to remember all that God has done for us in Christ and to give thanks. We are to be his thankful people at all times and in all places as the earliest liturgies have said in the Christian church. Think about the constant refrain in the Psalter in a place like Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Think about the words in Paul's letters, first to the Colossians. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let Christ's peace reign over you and be thankful. He says to the Thessalonian Christians, right? Give thanks in all things. This is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Think about the haunting story in the Gospels, in Luke's narrative, Luke 17, where 10 lepers are healed at a distance just by Jesus' word, and they realize that they're cleansed, but only one of the men comes back to give thanks. He lays out before Jesus with a loud voice, giving praise and thanks to God. And Jesus says, where are the other nine? Weren't 10 men cleansed? Where are the other nine? Let us not have Jesus say that of us, that we are among the ungrateful ones. You can, you can receive even miracles from Jesus at a distance. But as Jesus says to the one man who came back to give thanks, rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Your faith has, as Luke would say, truly saved you. It's faith that gets us in front of Jesus to give thanks that is fully embracing all of God's saving love of Jesus. It's this kind of faith that's full of thankfulness that truly makes us well. So wherever you are on the Thanksgiving week, would you stop today? Would you stop in the days and the weeks and the months and the years ahead and daily give thanks to God for all that he has done for you in Christ Jesus? Thankfulness is the mark of a faithful church, the mark of a faithful Christian. It's the mark of a flourishing church and Christian. Whereas ungratitude is really a mark of functional unbelief. So if you're like me and you're often a grumbler more than a thankful Christian, uh, let's repent. Let's come back to all that God gives us in all of his blessings throughout our days, but especially all that he gives us in Christ. He is saving mercies in love, knowing that every promise of God is yea and amen in Jesus. Let us be his thankful people this week and all weeks of our lives. MA exists to strengthen you in the gospel, to grow, serve and grow and multiply in your faith and in your congregation. So may we deepen ourselves in the gospel this week and be Christ's thankful people. Go in his peace and love. Amen.